Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a codec shootout between Synergy's Daniel 2 GPU codec, DNxHR from Avid, Cineform, Apple's ProRes, and XIVC. We're using Adobe Premiere, the latest Windows edition, to compare these codecs with each other and see how fast they are and how they really perform in real life scenarios. Let's get at it. Hello everybody, here we go, we have Adobe Premiere, as you can see, latest version, Pro CC 2018, I've got an 8K project open, I've loaded a number of clips here which are stacked on top of each other, and I'm going to enable layer by layer to see how they are actually faring. The topmost layer that we have currently, this is ProRes, and maybe to a little bit about the machine, this is in Dell XPS uh, 15, it's the 2016 model, uh, well, end of 2016, has a Core i7 7700 HQ at 2.8 uh, gigahertz. Not a bad machine, but for 4K, well, we'll see how it'll fare. So, again, this is ProRes, UHD, 10-bit, HQ, I'm pressing play, we're now waiting for it to play. Ah, well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know what the frame rate is. It is peculiar. You see the load. The moment I play, it is absolutely 100% shocker blocker CPU load, and it is struggling to play this in all settings. There are some very peculiar artifacts doing this as well. Anyway, so I would discount that as a format uh, that you could actually use for 4K production, such a machine. Yes, if you get a beefier machine, maybe that will, will work. But with this machine, as a laptop 4K production in uh, ProRes HQ, maybe not. This is all coming off a um, built-in SSD. It's a 512 gigabyte SSD that reads more than 2 gigabytes per second, so performance actually should not be an issue. Good, let's discount, let's turn ProRes off. The next in the stack, also a 4K file in this 8K project, because the whole ultimate idea is we want to see what we can do in terms of 8K production on this laptop. Okay, so it looks a little bit more fluid. So this is DNX HR HQX 10 bit, um, actually generated right here in Adobe Premiere itself, so it should be able to eat its own lunch. Press play. There you see, looks a little bit more fluid. This here is always a good indication where I'm hovering with my cursor, um, how well it really plays. It's not anywhere close to real time, but it's doing a better job than ProRes. But also here, 100% CPU load, fully loaded, this machine is cooking. But it's doing a better job. Much better job. Okay. 4K, maybe, it's not fluid, very fluid, but you could maybe get away with it if you uh, have to do it. Let's move on. Next codec in the stack. Now we have Cineform, this in 8K. I was told Cineform is a very fast codec and it's very uh, suitable for this. And you see, yes, it scrubs actually in 8K quite well. There's a little bit of a drawback, it comes only in... Uh, Quick term container, so this is a MOF file. 10 bit YUV, let's play. Well, not really real time either. Of course, 100% load, how could it be any different? The CPU is cooking. Here, looking at the time code, well, two or three frames maybe per second, that's all it can handle. But it's it's okay. I mean, it's it's if it's 4K, this would be quicker than DNX HR, uh, but still nowhere close to real time. But scrubbing, it's quite okay. I I would say that's certainly better when we're using files. So now, what's the next in the list? The next in the list is XAVC. Let's look at that. It's again only 4K. You will see why it's 4K or UHD and not anything else. So scrubbing. Wow, that is hmm, probably the slowest we've seen so far. Let's give it a play. Yeah, yeah that's struggling quite a bit. 
I would discount that completely as a format that I would want to work with for 4K editing with that, let alone 8K. Again, CPU fully loaded. This is no fun for nobody. Let's quickly turn this off before this laptop kills over and dies. What's the next? Of course, finally, this is where the we're working towards. Here is the GPU accelerated Daniel 2 codec, 8K, same footage, same. What do you see? You see it is strobbing quite dramatically. There is no caching, there's no pre-rendering here. This is all decoded as we played from disk. And again, you have this open so you see what's happening and there's no trick door.